Let's talk some sports on a Sunday night in New York City. Chris Soriano with you, 877-337-6666 is, as always, your two-way sports talk telephone number on the legendary FAN. And both New York baseball teams going down today before the All-Star break. Yankees with a 5-2 loss to the Indians. Mets 6-1 loss to the Nats. Uh, Both teams losing before the All-Star break, but both teams heading in separate directions as we come here to the All-Star break. All-Star game on Tuesday night, obviously. And it comes down to this with the Mets. Who will they trade? When will they trade them? Who will they trade them to? With the Yankees, it's who's the arm that they're going to get? Because I think it's pretty much common sense right now that the New York Yankees are not going anywhere soon in terms of a world championship. And you can disagree with that. You can hate that. You can say, what the hell, Chris? What are you talking about? You're supposed to be a Yankee fan. Well, okay, I am. Make no bones about it. That's the team that I root for. But I'll be brutally honest with you. They need a starting pitcher. And the whole Manny Machado thing, to me, doesn't make any sense. And as we head into the All-Star break, we hear that the Orioles are close to dealing with Machado. We also hear that the Yankees have had very significant interest in Machado. To me, it doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. And let's let's just go over it. Does Manny Machado pitch? No. Is he a starting pitcher? No. Is he a relief pitcher? No. That's not the need. Manny Machado is not needed, and I've heard this for weeks now. Oh, well, he would make a great addition. Stanton made a great addition. Now, you can make the case, was Stanton needed? Going into the year, I didn't think so. I thought it was a great piece, but I thought Stanton really wasn't needed. So far, he's doing his part after a early season struggle, and it's great to have. The bottom line was he was not needed when that deal was made. Now, would Manny Machado help out? Yeah, of course he would. He would make the lineup even deadlier. Of course he would. But it makes no sense trading for a guy that, hell, he could maybe come here anyway in the offseason as a free agent. So you're going to give up prospects in the division for a rental player? Because, yeah, he wants to be a Yankee. We've heard all that. I'll tell you what, right now where he's not going is Boston. But with Machado, I don't know, it, it just feels like it's a it's a desperate Yankee move, and the Yankees don't need to be desperate on offense. That's not what they need. They have the kids, they have the position players, they have the offense. What you need is a starting pitcher. Now, over the last couple of years, we have seen some solid arms, some high-quality arms being dealt at the deadline. I don't think there's going to be any of those this season. So the Yankees have to try and do something, get someone maybe on a bargain. But it's no secret that they do need pitching. And it just doesn't make any sense to me why Yankee fans have been so gung-ho about this move. Oh, we have to do this. Why? What is the reasoning? You know where where Machado makes the most sense in New York is not the Yankees, it's the Mets. If Machado goes wherever he he wants to go this year, and then in the offseason the Mets throw him some money, I don't know, maybe spend to try and win. Who's your third baseman? Who's your well, who's your shortstop? You know Machado wants to play shortstop. You slide Machado over at shortstop. In flushing. Bada bing, clay's closed. I don't think he fits with the Yankees. You can't have everybody. You can't have a team of Mike Trouts and Bryce Harper. And Machado and all this. And, well, guess what? Even if you had that team, you're still not a shoe in to win a championship. I'll say it until I'm blue in the face. Pitching wins championships. And so far, this roster that the Yankees have, it's a good roster, don't get me wrong. It's a quality roster. It's a roster that can probably win 100 games. They're on pace to do that. But in a short playoff series... With the arms that they have now, on the 15th day of July 2018, I don't think they're a World Series team. I don't think so. And you can call me crazy, you can call me whatever you want, you can call call me that I'm being unfair. I think it's the truth. The Yankees don't have to add a Manny Machado at the deadline. They have to add maybe a Cole Hamels. 
or somebody that, I don't know, can get on the bump and throw and pitch. Someone whose position in the MLB is a pitcher. That's who the Yankees need to pick up by the deadline, not a Manny Machado. Is Manny Machado a special talent? Yes, he is. Of course he is. I'm not saying he's not. But at the end of the day, that's not your need. Go with your need. I don't think Cashman is that, well, I don't want to say dumb, but I mean, it would be a dumb move if they made a trade for him, so I'll say it. I don't think Cashman's that dumb that he makes this trade. Cashman's wanted to hold on to these prospects forever. The only way I can, the only way that I could see him dealing any of them is for a pitcher that will help them now. 